And finally, he lives in a pineapple under the sea, but tonight he is the center of a cartoon controversy. SpongeBob SquarePants seems like a harmless distraction, but a new study in the journal Pediatrics is raising questions about the effect on very young minds. ABC's Neil Karlinski has the story. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? He lives in a pineapple under the sea. He's one of the most popular kids' shows ever. But SpongeBob SquarePants is only meant for kids over six, and now researchers say it might actually be hurting younger kids. We do know that at least immediately after watching such shows, four-year-olds were compromised in their ability to think and to learn. The study isn't about whether neurotic characters like Squidward are a bad influence, but whether the pacing of the show is so fast that kids are too spun up to focus well after watching. Take a look compared to another show in the study, Caillou. SpongeBob changes scenes every 11 seconds while Caillou is slow. <laughs> Caillou silly! <laughs> You're certainly acting the clown today, Caillou. Scenes can last 34 seconds and researchers say with good reason. We watched with an expert in child behavior today. I think it adds to the growing concern that we may be overstimulating the developing brains. SpongeBob, will you keep it down? The show has its own researchers and they take issue with the study. SpongeBob is not designed to educate preschoolers. It's designed to entertain uh, a kids. SpongeBob runs ahead of Patrick laughing. Behind the scenes at the show last year, the man with that famous laugh joked, you know you're not getting educational programming to begin with. But man, those cartoons that are supposed to be good for your kids? Boring! Take it from SpongeBob himself. TV? Cartoons are entertainment, but probably not the best way to prepare for a test. Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Seattle.